What's up gamers? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perfectly time your chainsaw tokens while playing Bubba on the hit 4v1 asymmetrical game called Dead by Daylight. So what compelled me to make this video? Bubba is, you know, a, a misunderstood creature. I personally find Bubba the most fun killer to loop. I've also pretty much exclusively only played Bubba ever since I decided I wanted to try him out around the same time the Attack on Titan collab came out. And you know, I I'll admit, I also used to think, uh oh, is that a, is that a Bubba I hear? Yeah, I, I, I think that's a Bubba. I think we're gonna die. However, my perspective has changed since then. I used to be like a stinky Blight main that would think, Oh, Blight is the only fun killer in Dead by Daylight. Change my mind. Get that shit out of my face. I'm Team Bubba, okay? I I'm, a I'm a changed man. Now be careful because when you start playing Bubba, suddenly Noah becomes your favorite perk. Suddenly, hooking someone in the basement and insidious camping sounds like a nice way to spend your Saturday evening. But don't do that. No. Learn how to use your chainsaw correctly, go for some really cool or even stupid chainsaw mind games because that's way more fun for both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an easy way to time the tokens and then a more advanced, more efficient way to time the tokens. The difference between the two is not that much but in some instances can actually be just enough to get that down. But before we get into that, why don't you go ahead and dead hard that like button? Maybe a sub? Promise I won't camp you. All right, so. All right. So, oh my fuck. Okay, so we're in a little uh, custom bot match. And basically what I need to do before I tell you where you need to place those charges and at what exact time, um, I need to tell you how I know where to place them. And what I do is I reference the swings that Bubba does as he's doing his chainsaw sweep. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to rev, and then I'm going to count. One, two, three, four. Okay? So if I go a little bit longer, it'll be something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, and, you know, so on and so forth. Obviously, I've done a lot of research on this, and basically, the animation of the chainsaw sweeps is the same speed uh, no matter what add-ons you have. All right, so let's get started with the easy timings. Base kit chainsaw will go as follows. One, two, three, hit on four. One, two, hit on three. Yellow chili timing goes like this. One, two, three, hit on four. One, two, three, hit. You have a slightly longer grace period to hit that last token than in base kit. Purple chili timing is as follows. One, two, three, four, hit. One, two, three, four, hit. So we're hitting after four and before one, basically right in between. Double chili timing, if you're feeling a little extra hungry, goes like this. One, two, three, four, hit on five. One, two, three, hit on four. Okay, so this is the advanced timing section now. The difference is going to be super small, but like I said, these are the most efficient to get the most value from one continuous chainsaw sweep. Base kit timing is one, two, three, hit on four. One, two, three, hit right after three. Just like a millisecond after, this one is pretty difficult. Yellow timing is one, two, three, four, hit ones, where we're hitting after four and before one, right in the middle, and then one, two, three, hit on four. 
The purple chili timing, my favorite. One, two, three, four, and then you're actually gonna hit right before that next swing. One, two, three, four, again, hit right before that next swing. <laughs> Lastly, the insane double chili is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, hit right after counting to five, and then one, two, three, four, hit after counting to four. So that's the end of the guide, pretty short video. It was fairly simple for me at least to get used to the timing since, I, I mean, some of y'all know that I'm a musician. Counting has been something that I've done my entire life. I had so much fun making this video. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more of me. Follow me on Twitter if you have one and I'll leave you the only way I think is appropriate. Look at this dancing Bubba.